Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a saintly duo in love for those reacting to some Saints Row. We do indeed. And so this is uh, the end for uh, Saints Row 2. Um, finally uh, going to wrap it up and uh, see, you know, the revenge for Aisha and um, yeah. yeah. So looking forward to it. If you want all of our Saints Row journey, go ahead and check out the playlist uh, down below in the description of this video. And we're going to check this out. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's going to be very intense. Mm -hmm. You called me up so we could do this? How's Gat doing? He's in bad shape, but he'll live. If that was me, that asshole wouldn't have got away. If that was you, we wouldn't have had to go to the hospital at all. Hmm. Yeah. I'm... Hey! <laughs> what the hell are we listening to? I was listening to that. Too bad it sucked. When I'm driving, we listen to whatever the fuck I want to listen to. Why you gotta be like that? That's usually the rules. The driver picks the radio station. Yeah. Well, I mean, a is gonna have a lot of shotgun's supposed to be in charge of the music though. You need someone riding shotgun that has the same music taste as you. Mm. The only CD collected so far. They get in the way. Like hell they are. Let's jack that car. Walking on. <laughs> there, okay. I mean, they really shouldn't have left two gar golf carts. There are two people that they should just. <laughs> they were not thinking ahead. No, they weren't. Something's up. Let's get back to the hideout. I knew you were coming. Try to draw you into a trap. Show us on this. That's the honest deal to the Kotoma Hello? What happened? What happened is that you left your father to die. I went to the airport to save Karakuji Santa rifle. Once I saw the leader of the Saints making a move towards the terminal, I made my way to the plane so I could back you your father. <laughs> His entourage willingly gave their lives to ensure his safety. Let me speak to him. No. What? Because you're useless. Your father made it quite clear he doesn't wish to speak. <laughs> Anything you have to say to him will go through me. Nice. Sayonara. All I'm saying is that we don't know how long Gad is going to be laid out. And you're willing to make a noble sacrifice and take his place? Someone's got to step up. Trust me, Gad will be up and running in no time. And if he's not, then we have bigger problems. Yeah. Sup? How badly do you want the man who hurt Gad and Gad? Who is this? Who the fuck are you? Where are you going? I'm taking out the son of a bitch that killed Aisha. Yeah. Yep. Die with some honor. <sighs> you can't kill us all. I'll kill you with some grace. See what you <laughs> oh yeah, sword mission. Yeah, you deserve it. Is that it. so bad? Yes, because yeah. you suck. 
is worse than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Father, I... Leave me in peace, Shogo. I'll make you proud, Father. <clears throat> I'll finish what Junichi started. I'll kill Gat. I'll do whatever you want, Shogo. Just do it away from me. I mean, was your father always that cold towards you, or you just always been? I cut him up myself. Hello, how can I help you? Excuse me, you can't go that way. And you also can't carry weapons Hello, in here. <laughs> how you doing? She's dead. You really gotta ask. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to ask you to return to the waiting room. Again, the giant swords that they're carrying are going to tip off. We're waiting for you. Okay. How long till you're back? Doc said I should be up and murder in a couple of days. Hmm. Well, you know, he didn't say murder, but you get the idea. Time to leave? Fuck yeah. <laughs> So since you've been out, I decided to put Pierce in charge. That's not funny. <laughs> funny, I didn't see the other guy who's shooting at. It's something I picked up when I was in the coma. knows how to fly a helicopter. change in management, I figured it would be a good idea to touch base. We at Ultor understand that when working with the Ronin, there's bound to be some collateral damage. However, turning the hospital into a charnel house is something that even I can't spend. You need to keep your men under control. My English must not be as good as I thought it was. It sounded like you were giving me an order. You're quite astute, Mr. Akuji. I'm not a twenty-something who is impressed by a power tie, Mr. Vogel. <laughs> nice. I suggest you stop trying to bully me. Mr. Rikuji, your son and I negotiated a very reasonable contract. My son's an idiot, Mr. Vogel. If yep. you wish for the Ronin's protection, you had best be prepared to offer us something much more substantial. That's not going to happen. Then our business is concluded. Mr. Okuji, I can't possibly stress how unwise this could be silent. You can show yourself out now. Is this son going to kill a father? The best of luck, gentlemen. This is a hell of a place you got here. I mean, it's a good thing I had my tetanus shot, but beyond that, it's uh, hmm. cozy. Do I know you? Name's Dane Vogel. Who works for Altor. I remember he swung by the church and offered Dex a job a while back. You shouldn't be. Who's Dex? Dex was a man who had higher aspirations than being a thug. Can't blame him for moving on up. He was a fucking sellout. You call him a sellout, I call him a millionaire. What 
do you want? I want to help you. If I need any Altor Unlimited sunglasses, I'll steal them. Huh. I'm familiar with our products. Fuck off, Ogle. Do you want our help or not? Maybe. Yes. No. Hmm. Oh, this is a well-oiled machine. What do you got? We've recently severed our ties with the Ronin. Oh, you're breaking my heart. I know where the Akujis lay their heads. I doubt any of your lieutenants have that information. I don't know. Sean just fucked a lot of guys. <laughs> That's talking <laughs> sense. How do you know it's not a trap? That part's easy. I'll wait for you here. If you don't make it back, one of your boys can take me out. Yo, why don't we just cut the waiting part? I think the waiting part is very important. Gap, you're with me. Pierce, your babysitting Bogle. You sure you don't want me to take out this asshole now? Save the bullets for a coochie. <laughs> Charity, we haven't used him so much. <gasps> sure. Oh! Well, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Magnus is more fun in Uncharted. That was cool. I was like, what is he doing? Oh, it's been gone a long time. Maybe that's our, our move to jump off. It's all right, Pierce. Nice, just we don't usually have a pair of right exactly. Get out of here, Vogel. You've been a gracious host. How come you went to the Ronin and not us? You were in a coma and we couldn't find Julius. Timing is everything. I have no idea how far my shame could extend. Don't worry, Father. I'll fix this. No, you won't, Shogo. <laughs> You'll continue to disappoint me. One of you's got to kill the other one. Continues to bring shame upon his family. You should always respect your adversaries. You don't have to like them, but you should respect them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're not worth being an adversary. All set. Oh! Whoa. Nice. Motorcycle chase. So much anymore. Yeah, it's very short lived. <laughs> Bury him alive. Oh. Get up. Oh, ah. yeah. Get up. I think he broke his legs. So I don't know if he can't get up. That's too so fun when you fight someone who isn't tied to a chair, is it? I didn't kill her! You ordered it. Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm sorry. That's a punch. Mm hmm. You couldn't even let her have a beer in the fucking yep. piece of shit. Yep. And 
They knew it. Nice. It was all planned. Yep. They knew you had no honor. And they are going to bury you alive. Yeah! Target's in. It's quite a gun. You brought him here? How do you know this asshole isn't trying to kill me? Please. I would never kill my favorite assassin. Mr. Wall. This guy used to have me running around killing guys in hot dog suits. <laughs> I'm quite pleased to hear about your survival. I'm here to give you my thanks for killing Kazuo Akuji's son. You know Akuji? Akuji. Akuji and I have a long history. I have also had several unpleasant dealings with his son. It's always unpleasant if you deal with the son. When he was younger, he killed Mr. Wong's dog. You fucking killed me. I do not joke about Sadie. Mm. If you guys got some time, we could. Is that? Will you follow? I don't know. He was fucking followed. You aren't gonna believe this. A bunch of Ronin goons are coming this way? Well, yeah. You ready for this wall? Whoa. I have not killed a man in quite some time. Oh. Ooh. It's a cool gangster out there. Old school monster. Okay! Whoa! Always bring a rocket launcher to a party. Saying a pox on all your houses. You okay? I'm fine, but Akuji won't stop here. I know. We gotta lock our shit down. When the Ronin come back at us, I wanna be ready. Yeah. Let's try to first go after them. You don't want to follow me like a child. The boss asked me to make sure the Ronin don't crash your party, and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Gat? He ran off to fight the Ronin as they approached. 
Sit tight. I'm on my way. Is that person naked? Possibly. They're just in their bathing suit or something. This is Shivington. Once a pristine set of tenement homes, this neighborhood has evolved into a dangerous ghetto filled with undesirables such as these. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, ugly buildings, unwashed masses, what the hell is Old Tour thinking? My friends, we are thinking about the future. Picture this, glass towers, clean streets, and no one below the poverty line trying to wash your car. Impossible for a lesser company me. Now, I'm not here to make idle promises or vague predictions. No offense to all of you politicians out there. <laughs> no, I'm here to show you how we're going to do it. Now, obviously, before we can remodel Shivington, we need to own the land. So how do we do that? Shivington? By directing the gangs towards Sunnyvale. Not only are we lowering the number okay, of our detractors, we are lowering the property value as well, which means when we buy the land, the savings get passed on to you, the stockholders. The gangs cripple each other. We direct funds to the Stillwater Police Department. They increase police presence, and pretty soon, all those nasty little gangbangers are gone. Crime stops. Property value goes up. And now, your population looks like this. Ruthless. He's the bartender as his bodyguard. Ouch. No. 
not really. I got a bunch of guys trying to kill me right now. Hmm. some amazing time. Come on, Pierce, get in the car. It's quite a car. Yeah. Whoa. Looking pretty beat up. Yeah. That's still moving. I liked Ultor a lot more when they just made clothes. What'd you do to piss these guys off? Fuck if I know. Yo, I signed off for killing gangbangers, not fighting some SWAT team from hell. Don't worry about it, Pierce. We'll take care of it. The fuck you mean? <laughs> these guys are packing space aid shit. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you did anyone work I guess I like Pierce and Pierce more. He's, he's funny. No. For real? Alright. You two find out whatever you can about this place. I want to take these assholes apart. Uh, is this the pyramid? Yeah. Altor's built a huge R&D facility underneath Mount Claflin. Let me guess. They aren't developing a better bread box. Honestly, they probably are. They're just, you know, developing guns and body armor, too. Why is Altor gunning for us? It doesn't matter. Here's the plan. Pierce and Shondi, I want the two of you to hit the streets and take out as much Ultor property as you can. If Ultor wants to come after us, fine. But we're gonna make it fucking cost them. Gat, you and I are gonna hit the pyramid. But we don't get to blow shit up in public? Fine. We could do some damage street side, but we gotta be quick. I don't wanna give Ultor any more of a heads up than we have to. Do. I mean, in his defense, he was shooting people and you guys were still just reading your paper as you walked along the sidewalk? Yeah. I swear, he threw it the other direction. I thought so too. Okay. This rifle clearly out of place. People are like, yeah, it's fine. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't seem bothered at all by the fact that they were all in hazmat suits. Mm -hmm. I'd be a little bothered by that. I'd want to know why. Let's use some. Oh. 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 O
Well, your project has been yielding positive results. The board is a little concerned. I don't understand. The Saints are out of control. That was the point. When you budgeted funds for force majeure, we didn't realize compromising the pyramid was what you had in mind. We're dealing with violent criminals. Are you really surprised they might do something, I don't know, violent? The pyramid was not going to last forever. It's better to spin this now when we are the victims than when Channel 6 does an undercover expose. Dane, fix the problem. Okay, maybe I'm being too obtuse. Let me try this again. There is no problem. We've had enough of your ego. My ego is what got you this far. Finish off the saints, or being fired is the least of your worries. Is that all? Take care of this, Dane. Of course I will. What's this? Don't know. About it here, and it was addressed to you. Looking to crash your party. Thinking about it. Well, your history with boats is pretty solid, so, uh, this seems like a good idea. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go find Sean. Good idea. Don't you care who sent it? Nope. But it's probably a trap. Yep. yep. <laughs> Salting the earth. Again. Hmm. The title of the missions are always fun. Yeah. Should I get the giant sub or should I leave? Concerned. Mm -hmm. Mr. Morgan, will you be needing a car to take you to the party? He's already at the party. Sir? Oh, that's all right, Jamie. I think I'm going to Oh, and Jamie? Yes, sir? Please move my things to my new office and set up a press conference. I'm about to be. Everything's going according to his plan. You in position, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Just make sure I get to Vogel. As most of you know, the Old Tour Board of Directors were assassinated the other night, and while we at Old Tour would like to take the time to mourn their passing, sadly that's a luxury we don't have. The corporate office has named me chairman, and I want to personally let you all know, not only will business continue as usual, yeah, they know. we will be taking even greater strides forward. Monica Hughes has graciously greenlit a project that's very dear to us at Old Tour, the revitalization of Shivington. In the coming days... Mm-hmm. Want a giant little help? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh. Ow. Oh, ow.
Oh. Oh. Uh oh. That's very surprised. This guy's still going. I thought the car would have been flipped by now. Oh, that car is really beat up. Okay, I think you need to steal a new car. Dude. Mm -hmm. Sent an attack helicopter. Oh, fun. Oh, damn, and it's not messing around. Mm -mm. Sure. doesn't come back yet. He seemed immune to those bullets. I guess he just couldn't get to that from that angle. Would have been too easy. Alright, let's not be too hasty here. You're upset, you're frustrated, and you've got a gun, which you know I'd really like it if you would put that away. You should have thought of that before you sent a team to wipe out my gang. Yep. I tried telling the board that going after the Saints was a big mistake. They should have listened to you. Believe me, right now I am agreeing with you 100%, but you have to look at the positives. You're alive, they're dead, and you have the Saints' number one fan running all Yes! Oh! I was wondering how long he's going to let him talk for. Sweet. Oh! Good shot. Oh! Jesus. We missed it. Told ya. Now pay up. Where the fuck were you guys? Traffic. What? He's not joking. The roads have been blocked off. You see Gad out there? Oh, he's fine. He's still out there killing cops. Figures. <laughs> what is it? It's done. Time to pull out of there. You sure? Get the fuck off of me! I mean, I'm not going to that anymore. What are you talking to? I'm sure. See you back home. Later. Who you calling now? All right. Another helicopter? Mm-hmm. Slow motion walk. It's the victory walk. Mm-hmm. Hey, this guy again. Nice. Where's your wife, dude? Welcome. She's out dealing. Yeah. Well, I don't know what she deals. Does she, does she make this stuff? She's like the scientist, right? She's the Walter White. Yeah. Hmm. 
nice, very cinematic ending there. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> All right, so satisfying conclusion. Like you said, very cinematic shot there at the end. Uh, what'd you think? It was it was really good. I I can't help but laugh at Vogel going off the end of the building. Yeah. I mean, because at first it's, it's so violent and on brand for this with like the blood mm -hmm. coming out of the mouth and everything. But then it just made me think of like, is it an Ant-Man or is it when Hulk does something to a person? But like the little person is just going like boom, boom, boom. It's it's, it's Hulk in uh, Thor Ragnarok. When he, when he jumps out, he goes ding, ding, ding. I thought the same thing. Exactly. That's, what it is. That's why I laughed when he fell at the end there. And it was just like, because he was he was tinier and he was like, ding, ding, ding. Yep. <laughs> and, and so it was... It was nice to have that um, dark, very dark humor in that moment, um, just to kind of balance out all of the the violence and everything. And it also kind of made me think of uh, Hans Gruber and in, uh, in, in Die Hard. And if I had been more clever, like you know, as he was falling, I would have been like, uh, you know, oh man, I hope that's not one of the hostages. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that's such a great line in Die Hard. It is. Uh, Who was your favorite character in this? I think it might have been Gat. Yeah, Johnny um, Gat is the best. I just, I liked his, I liked his relationship with Aisha. Mm -hmm. I felt like those two kept each other honest, kept each, yeah. each other humble in a world that doesn't really lend itself to either of those qualities. I loved his sort of like, he's going to cowboy up when, when danger came and, um, you know, when Aisha got involved and became a victim, it showed us a new side of him. So I just felt, um... Whereas our hero is sort of consistently his character throughout, mm -hmm. I felt a little more of a journey with Gat. I started to like Pierce more towards the end too. Like at first, you know, I didn't really like him. He's such a doofus. He's, yeah, he's such a doofus. He's just like such good comic relief and everything like that. And like, you know, the whole like running gag of Shawnee will say something like the exact same thing Pierce does and it'll be better. Or like, you know, Pierce comes up with this elaborate plan and then Gat's just like, why don't we just go in there and shoot everybody? Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> yep. Were there any particular scenes or uh, that stuck out to you that you liked the, the best? I mean, I do like the fact that the the whole funeral funeral was faked. Yeah. Um, I thought that was super clever. As the scene was starting, I was like, man, can't even give him a funeral. Like, I really yeah. hope they take their time with you. Um, and then it, the thought popped into my head, I'm like, or just bury you alive. And then that's actually what wound up happening. And so I was kind of like, you know, that is a horrible way to die. And I'm kind of okay yeah. with it for this character. Yeah, I want them to bury him alive too. But I was like, but, I'm like, but what are they going to do? I mean, they're not going to like, you know, put him in Aisha's coffin or something like that. I'm not going to like bury it, you know. But then when it wasn't, you know, that's, <laughs> that's a lot better. Um, my favorite one was probably when uh, they got revenge for Carlos and they put uh, the, the wife in with the monster truck rally. I just thought that was a very clever, um, fitting revenge. So out of the stories between um, the Brotherhood, the Samdi, um, Ronin, or we'll put, we'll put Altor in there as well. Which one was your favorite? I like those like four kind of like storylines or whatever. I think I enjoyed most the taking down of Altor. The pretentiousness, the... Um, racism, the uh, like socioeconomic differentiation and the hate that he had towards anyone below him. I just, I was very satisfied when he bit the dust. I think my favorite one's probably the Ronin one uh, with Brotherhood uh, behind that. I just, um, yeah, I mean, the whole, I was more invested in that one. Like the ones that I was invested with, the Samdi one wasn't as invested in Old Tour. It's just like, okay, yeah, like Evil Corporation definitely want to, want to bring them down. Um, but with Aisha's death and with Carlos's death and like the revenge angle, which I always love. He does. Um, so those are the two ones, and I just felt since uh, the Ronin one had gotten it, I liked that one the best. But for the funeral scene, it made me think of um, Sun Tzu's The Art of War, which is a book I'm currently reading. Um, they talk about the key to success is to know your enemy. And they knew their enemy so well to know that they wouldn't be allowed to have a peaceful funeral, they wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to just let her rest, and so they had the perfect plan to entrap them, and I thought, man, they, they were smart. The fuck took you so long? You ain't dicks. Neither are you. You look different, did you? I didn't do shit to myself. <laughs> you put a gun on me? Well, I didn't have time to plant a bomb in the church, so this I have to do. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why don't you educate me? I don't gotta explain shit to you. 
This is where we gonna have to agree to disagree. Why don't you just put the gun down? We both know you're not gonna use it. Not yet. Oh! Jesus. Yeah. Stop! I never thought I'd see you beg, Julius. I'm not begging. I'm trying to talk some sense into you. I'm done. That's into your bullshit. Put it together. Dex wanted us in the same place. Yeah, and why'd he want that? Can we kill each other later? Dex said to Masako. Looks like he means business. you know that we've seen before yeah that's more high tech mm -hmm. also looks like it has infinity ammo or something it's got infinity life can't defend south side on his own he can't doesn't have his own rocket launcher Cars looking in pretty bad shape. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's just basically like the frame in the engine. It says Julius's car is in a lot better health than it, than it looks like. Yeah, it does not look like it's doing that well. It looks like even the wheels are kind of like... Yep. That can't be a good thing.
Oh, no, yeah, don't stop for anybody. Car's gotta be toast now. You didn't think it was gonna be that easy, did you? How did you come this far to die? That was easy? Sucks. Yeah. Just like old times, player. Yeah. <gasps> Jesus. I thought we were past this. Not by a fucking long shot. Don't you get it? The Saints didn't solve a goddamn thing. Drugs were still being pushed. Innocent people were still getting killed. All we did was turn into vice kings that wore purple. Jesus Christ, you mm. sound like a pussy. <laughs> I sound like someone who's not a sociopath. You want to be the killer with a conscience? Fine. Drop your flags and write a book like King, but you never should have came after me. You telling me, if I would have asked you to walk away, you would have said yes. Fuck no, this is my city. Jesus, you haven't learned a goddamn thing. Wrong. I've learned that being in charge is better than being a bitch who keeps his mouth shut and does what he's told. Your time's over, old man. What's happened to you? I woke up. You owe me, player. If it weren't for me, you would have died on that street corner. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been in a goddamn coma. But I guess that makes us even. Say, you both got a point. Oh! Cold blooded. Yeah. Can't really blame him, though. Uh, you know, be pretty pressed if you got betrayed by someone that basically was like a father figure to you. Yeah, but I just feel like you'd still have a hard time killing him like that. Yeah, but I mean, like you said, he's kind of, I mean,. Kind of uh, equated him to a sociopath, so it just didn't care about anything but money and power. And well, they all seem sociopathic in that vein. I mean, yeah, they they are very trigger happy. Well, I mean, I think so. I think he brings up a you know a good point that you know the, even though you are playing as as the saints in this one, like you know the quote unquote good guys or whatever, but like they're all he's like, he's like you know all we did was trade one gang for another, and like you know that's that's pretty much what ended up happening. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments, and thanks so much for checking out our reactions for uh, Saints Row 2. This uh, completes our journey for Saints Row 2. We'll continue with Saints Row. Uh, go check out some Saints Row 3 stuff, some trailers for that what and whatnot, and we heard the uh, new games coming out for Saints Row, the reboot. So, But I'm really glad our community told us about this, just because it, it does tie up sort of a loose end that just mm -hmm. was not in the first one, and I mean, it, it is very telling for both these characters, too that this is how it ends. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Saints Row 2, but keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.